Pinch a Penny with Jenny. Hi everyone, welcome back to Pinch a Penny with Jenny. And today I thought I would try something different. So full disclaimer, I am not a vlogger. Um, I don't think I will be a vlogger because it's just like a lot of work and I don't like editing and things like that. But this morning I woke up and I was just in the mood and so I'm gonna do it. So today is Tuesday and I chose today because it's just like a really mundane day that most people, you know, they go to work, if they have to commute, if they don't have to commute, they're at home and they're like, working and working and working and then after work they like either work some more for a second income or they take care of the children or take care of house chores or they watch tv or whatever so it's tuesdays are generally a pretty mundane day and i thought i would show you guys a kind of like a, a my version of like a mundane day but with a little twist with a little frugal twist because living a frugal lifestyle is like a lifestyle like it's just something you do on a daily basis most of the time without even thinking because it's just habit at this point so i wanted to show you guys around how i um maintain a frugal lifestyle on a daily basis i have one meeting that is in downtown manhattan later so i will have to get out of my pjs and i will have to take the subway which is pretty unfortunate because then you have to spend money um and then also waste time commuting one way to save money is to cook your meals in the mornings and i am making two steaks and the reason why i'm doing this is because when i get home from work i am extremely exhausted so uh, most of the time i don't even want to cook i just pop something in the microwave really quickly but if you cook in the morning you have something ready to go so you don't have an excuse so here's my instant pot i filled it with some water now my instant pot was broken for a long time at this button over here it wasn't recognizing that my lid was on and it kept telling me the lid wasn't on even though it was on but today it seems to be working so lucky me anyway so i have a bag of chopped vegetables that this must be a couple of months old i don't even know but there's carrots in there there's broccoli onion parsley i just dump it in there it's been sitting in the freezer like i said forever but it's still good and yes i'm using my hands um and then i have another thing parsley as well uh, from the same batch and these are stasher bags by the way they're just reusable ziploc bags and they're so great i got them for my birthday many years ago and i am still using them that's a lot i know but i like parsley so it's good and then i have a piece of rotisserie chicken that has been sitting in the freezer for probably six months i'm not really sure but it's still good, so I'm gonna dump that in there too. And in it goes. Normally I would put way more chicken in there, but this was the only piece that I had left, so that's the only piece that's going in. All you have to do is close the lid. Hopefully it works today. Yes, it does. There's a soup button. And then that's it. I just walk away. So my steak is almost done. I'm just gonna turn off the heat and still let it sit there so that it cooks with the residual heat. I have a nice little browning here. Well, I like to keep my coffee beans in the refrigerator. Supposedly, it keeps it fresher for longer. I honestly am not sure if that's true. Since I am out, or almost out, I'm going to grind some more coffee beans. This is so simple, guys. Look at that. You don't need Starbucks. Now moving over to the other side of the apartment, I have my reusable Keurig pod. So I grind my own beans, I fill up the cup, and I reuse this cup over and over again so I don't have to buy new pods. And this is very cost effective. So I'm gonna leave a link in the video description to these little pods. I got this for zero dollars. Zero guys, zero dollars from Facebook Marketplace. I literally went to a buy nothing group and I was like, does anybody have a coffee grinder? And this lovely lady just like, she had one and she gave it to me. So it was absolutely free. I loved it. This is a brand new kettle actually, but I got it used um, and I really love it. I wasn't going to replace this, but um, I just really wanted a bigger kettle and this is it's so beautiful. It has a blue light and everything. I really like lactate milk, so I make my coffee with lactate milk. And funny thing, like these used to be $4.99 at Costco for many, 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 many years. And now all of a sudden they're $5.19, which makes me think I should have just stocked up on a couple more. But, you know, hindsight is 2020. I got my two little Tupperware containers. I take my little steaky thing. 
<laughs> one here and one here. So now I can eat this one tonight and I can eat this one for lunch tomorrow or I can eat both of them tomorrow or the day after. They'll be good for good three days. I wouldn't push it more than three or four days. Moving on to the sink, I take these Ziploc baggies and I wash them with soap and I reuse them. So here are all the Ziploc baggies soaking with soapy water. Basically, I just put these reusable bags over all of my utensils and they just hang dry upside down, ready to be used again. So for breakfast, I have my coffee that I made earlier. I put um, everything on a placemat because I want to protect the value of this table. I've been using it for years. You can tell I've been using it for years. <laughs> Cereal today. That's what I'm gonna be having for breakfast. Pretty cheap, pretty frugal. I don't think you should have cereal every day, but today is it's what I'm having. Add a little splash of milk, and then I'm ready to eat and work at the same time. I'm not gonna show you my computer screen because I'm working on some confidential stuff uh, for my job, so I can't show you guys, but that is, that's where I'm gonna be working, right there. So now I'm on my second cup of coffee because I have problems. <laughs> I'm addicted to coffee, uh, but I usually have two in the morning as opposed to one. I know I will save even more money if I have one coffee, but to be honest with you, I um, I can't. I just, I just want more coffee. <laughs> Ta-ta. I feel about that much. Close the lid. Stick that in there. I like it strong. Coffee number two. And while this is going on, um, I'm gonna cook some pasta to throw into the soup. So I'm gonna have like, kind of like a makeshift chicken noodle soup situation for the next two days or so. So I don't add salt when I cook pasta and I just don't see a reason for it. I know like all the recipes say like, you should add salt and I never really understood why because I've been doing cooking pasta my whole life without salt and I'm fine. Do I need a rooster timer? No. Do I have a rooster timer? Yes. Am I keeping him? Yes. I just poured my pasta into the strainer and let me tell you, I've had this strainer for maybe a decade. It is still going strong. It is a little expensive, but like I said, I've had it for over a decade. And the reason why I like this, and I'm gonna leave a link to this as well, is because it fits in like almost every single pot. Fits on this one, and now it's a steamer. And then, let's look at this little one. It's gonna fit on this little one too. Here we go. Fits on the little one. So, it can fit many different size pots, and it is a colander, so you can see the holes at the bottom. And it is a steamer in one, so uh, yeah. And I also wash my apples and use this to hold apples. So it's a multi-purpose stainless steel contraption that I really, really, really love. I highly recommend it if you don't have one of these guys already. I have a very frugal kitchen. Like these tongs were free from my aunt. That whisk was free from winning a cookie baking contest at work. This strainer and this little uh, spoon here and this spatula, they were also free from my fifth grade teacher. I went to visit her a couple of years ago and she was decluttering and so I took those. <laughs> this I actually paid for. I got it from Marshalls or Home Goods or actually no, I think I got it from Century 21 for $3 or so. And then I have four pots total. And this little guy was a gift that my aunt gave my mom and then my mom wasn't using so then I took it um and then this one was a uh, a gift that my aunt gave my grandma and then my grandma wasn't using it so I took that from grandma this little situation was a free pan that I got from my parents um and they got it for free from who knows where. So that was free. The only one that I paid for was this little guy here. This little guy was very expensive. It was a splurge, but I figured, you know, I'm gonna have one and then that's it. I'm gonna have it for a long time. It's uh, some stone earth thingy. I don't even know. I'll leave a link in the video description, uh, but it, it's, it's great. It's nonstick 
and it works really, really, really well. Pasta is done. I have it in a glass container from Ikea, which was also on sale. Sign up for, a be for being an Ikea family member, you can get discounts. So now I'm gonna show you guys the soup. Hopefully it looks good for the camera. Oh, look how good it looks for the camera. And then I have some leftover pasta right here that I just dump right in. And now I got another meal. I mean, how awesome is that? Stir it up. So there's my, my chicken that I just dumped in there. But you know, this one little piece of chicken it's gonna make this so flavorful. And again, like I chopped up these vegetables months ago, months ago, and I'm just using them right now. So yeah, you can definitely eat very well on a frugal budget. With the Instant Pot purchase, you can buy a lot of accessories. The one accessory that I do have is the Instant Pot silicone lid that fits perfectly over the pot so now you don't have to buy an extra storage container to put you know your leftovers just like has a very tight fit which keeps it nice and fresh and then you dump it in the refrigerator and you're good to go so i'm on a train now i had to spend two dollars and 75 cents to go to my meeting i just got off the subway and now i need to transfer for a bus so i got my little ticket Rise and grind, people. Rise and grind. Okay, so I just got off the bus. I'm getting ready to walk to the meeting. So today is turning into sort of like a hybrid work from home office situation. Um, so I work from home in the, be uh, in the beginning of the day and now I'm gonna go to a meeting and then work from the office and then go back home and work from home again. So you guys are gonna see like um, everything, I guess. And also I wanted to add that whenever you go somewhere, always bring with you a water bottle and snacks so you're not spending extra money um, unintentionally. So now I'm back home again. I had my meeting in Manhattan from 12.30 to 1.30 and then from 1.30 to two o'clock, I commuted back to the office and then I spent four hours in the office and now I am back home. It is around 6.30. I just heated up the steak that I made earlier this morning and also the chicken noodle soup that I made this morning and I'm gonna eat really quickly. And usually while I eat, I also study a couple of songs because I do voiceovers and I record every single day. While I eat, I learn. After I eat, I record. And so this is what I mean when I say I work and then I go home and then I work again. But this part of work is like part of my side hustling for extra income and I also really enjoy it. It is one of my favorite hobbies in the world and I would do this regardless of whether I'm getting paid or not. So yeah, I'm gonna go eat my dinner now. Here's my dinner. I cut up the steak, not the prettiest looking, but you know, who cares? I just need to get this in my system. And also my soup. So I just realized that I didn't talk about what I ate for lunch because I didn't really have a lunch today. Um, not a real lunch anyway. So typically what I do is the food that I would cook in the morning or the night before, I would pack in my little cooler bag and then I would take the lunch to work so I don't have to buy food um, during lunch hours. Sometimes I do slip and I do get takeout, um, but that is not very often at all, so it is okay with me. Um, so anyway, today, because I was running around like a crazy person, I had a Kind Bar, I had a, uh, a Faye yogurt, and a bag of pirate booties. At our office, we have unlimited free snacks, and so that's what I had. I worked on a document all day um, and so that took up all of my time and I really wanted to leave the office at a decent hour so I opted to just like work really hard and just you know eat whatever um highly not recommend but that's what I did I just finished my dinner and now I am in my vocal booth getting ready to record it is currently 6 58 p.m after I finish recording I'm going to have dessert and then take a shower and then watch some Hulu just finished recording my voiceovers. It is now 7.47. So I've done like over a thousand of these. So I've gotten to be pretty quick. Um, and now I'm just having some chocolate that I got for Christmas. Um, we got I got a bunch of chocolate from my company for Christmas. So eating that for dessert. Now it is time for my nightly TV. The reason why I have it on a, like I have a laptop on a tripod 
is because I actually don't own a TV. So I just use my laptop as a TV. And this piano, by the way, I got used from like a six or nine year old or whatever for like $75 or something insane like that. It's a full size 88 key keyboard and um, it was a really good deal. Here is the view of my makeshift uh, laptop TV from my bed. Uh, it is kind of small, but you know, I can zoom in with the phone here to show you guys. It is a little small, but that's okay. I can still see and I can still hear. I do plan on getting a real TV. I just don't want to pay for one. So I'm waiting for either a free one to show up or um, finding a super duper cheap one on Facebook Marketplace. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this vlog today. I hope you enjoyed just like a sneak peek into my life. Uh, really of a real New Yorker who is frugal and uh, yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Leave a comment below letting me know, you know, if you'd like to see more of these videos. It does take a very long time, but let me know what you thought. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!